Hello audience, and welcome to the 17th episode of Cubfan's Minecraft Vanilla Let's Play. I am Cubfan, and as you may notice, I am now sounding much better than I previously had. Woohoo! That's because I have the new Blue Yeti microphone, and uh, it's, it's pretty amazing so far. Uh, crystal clear uh, voice quality, uh, and everything else, so hopefully that will uh, help. I also got Sony Vegas, but today we are going to start to construct our elevator in-house. I've been promising this for a while, but uh, with the new Technic Pack series, I didn't have much time to uh, get to it, so here it is. Uh, it's going to be right in front of these doors. It'll be right in this area here, and there'll be a, a switch we flick right there, and it'll take us up to the next floor, and hopefully up to the third floor, if it, uh, if it can reach that high. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start constructing the materials. So, Gonna need quite a number of sticks here to make some redstone torches. And let's just go ahead and make 20 of them. What the heck? Why not? And then we will make, uh, I think we need probably, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need at least 10, uh, 10 redstone repeaters. So we'll make 10 of those. That's not redstone repeater. So there and the missing ingredient redstone and boom 10 redstone repeaters then we will need to make pistons so to make a piston you just put three uh we'll need four pistons so let's go ahead and fill this in oh my god fail that's all right we're fine that there we also need iron i'm an idiot not prepared at all for this but that's all right we need iron in the middle, I think, and then redstone, wood across the top, and I think cobblestone on the sides. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Jackpot! I'm in the money now. Alright, we'll just go ahead and three, 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 four, and four, and we'll make four pistons, because that's all we'll need for this elevator. You also see I made some sandstone slabs. That will uh, also come in handy. As we will, that'll be what we stand on, what we what will take us up. I should say that I did not come up with this elevator design. It was based on a design by uh, a guy named Seth Bling. And I think I will uh, make the fences now, if I can remember how to make a fence correctly. I think it is just something like, oh god, let's see. I can remember how to make a fence gate. Uh, hold on one second, folks. Let me consult the wiki here. Uh, looks like fancy gate. Fancy gate. Where? Where is it? Oh God. Oh uh, this. Oh. Oh my God, dude. Oh. Oh, very close. Very close. Okay, I got it now. That one and that one. Yes, okay. So we'll need a bunch of fence gates. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many, but we can... We'll try to get as many as we can. Half of that. Alright. Seven fence gates. Uh, might need... Might need a bit more. That's a lot of sticks. That's okay. We're definitely going to have enough fence gates, and anything left over we can just use to make a fence uh, for animals later on. So we have our pistons, we have our redstone repeaters, we have a bunch of redstone. What else are we missing? We, we need, uh, I think that's just about it. Uh, we need one sticky piston. So let me get out some slime balls. And to make a sticky piston, I think it's the same as the normal piston, except with this ball right there, maybe? This is just a guess. No. Switch it up? No. Uh, okay. Failing so hard right now, once again. Or derping, whichever you like, whichever you prefer. Um, let's see. Oh, just a regular piston. Okay, I got it now. What an idiot. Regular piston, and then... The slime ball goes on top of the piston. So there's our one sticky piston. 
And I think that's pretty much it. Slime, fence gates, yeah. So that's all the materials, and now I will begin to construct the elevator. All right, everybody, I'm uh, currently standing at the, in the back of my house. Here's the, uh, the mushroom portal there. And what I've done here is I've knocked out the back of my house to where the elevator will go. I'm gonna go up right there, and there's the, uh, there's the second story. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a tower up here and put the first piston first piston will go right here so we'll get this piston for, placing out that'll push the blocks to the left and then there'll be another piston here facing upwards that will push the blocks up so it's getting to be night so I'm gonna go ahead and close this part of it off right now so we don't die and monsters don't come and blow up what we've done so far so uh, let's see, we'll close this off, and then we will uh, close this off, take a little bit of fall damage, and I'll go ahead and try to make it back to my house safely, and we shall return tomorrow to do more work on the house. Alright guys, welcome back, it is tomorrow, as you can so much see as I jump out of this hole. So, we got the uh, first part of that completed. Let's jump on over and do the, uh, the second part here. We need to try and make this all the way up so we can knock out the back wall. So let's just make a tower that goes all the way up to the, uh, let's see, the pistons can only whoop, push 13 blocks, so let's see, there's I think it goes down one further than this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six right now. So we'll go seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we'll go thirteen just in case. Well, what the heck? Let's just go up further. Just for the heck of it. Uh, yeah. Didn't really think about how I'm going to get down. So, mushroom portal. Saves us once again through the mushroom portal, and down we go. I guess. Let's see where. All right. Let's just go ahead and dig out the rest of this. I guess we can uh, climb up and uh, knock out the wood we don't need anymore. Whoop, as we climb up, okay. Climbing up. All right, I think that should be just about enough. I think the inside is still secured. All right, so now we need to go ahead and clear out the rest of this this area because the circuitry will be hidden underneath the floor here. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, how you doing everybody? As you can see I've dug out a small area here uh, to put the circuit in. So I'm going to go ahead and start the circuit now. I probably will actually, I know I won't finish it yet because there still has to be a line well, that gets over to this block somehow. But what we're going to do is we are going to start the circuit coming down this way and then there will be a circuit coming out of this piston here and then there will be two repeaters on single tick delay there and then we'll bring this one block this way and there will be a three clock here so let's go ahead and make the three clock so to make a three clock, three, actually three one clock uh, whoops. So we put two repeaters there. Let's see if I can get it. Nope, I can't get it. Well, let's go ahead and dig out one more here then. Alright, so we put repeater, repeater, and then dig out these. And then repeater, repeater back this way. And redstone there. So this is going to be our clock. It will drive these pistons. And the ones that push out uh, horizontally will be delayed uh, two ticks 
uh, from the ones that push vertically. So then what we need to do is we need to construct, let's see if I can't dig myself out of this hole. We need to count up 13 blocks from here. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six. That torch is on the sixth block. So we'll go up and we need to count up 13. So then six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's, that's the maximum number of blocks that the piston down there can push up. So we'll go up to the third floor and we will place our pistons place our pistons down. Let's see, uh, we need this one to be here and it needs to face outwards like that. And then we need the second one to be right there and we need that one to be facing downwards. So we'll put that in there, downwards, there we go. So that is the pistons in place. So now let's go ahead and uh, develop some more redstone machinery. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the uh, the mechanism that turns the clock on and off, and we are running out of daylight fast, so I really gotta do this, okay. So we need a block and a sticky piston, which we luckily have. So we'll put the sticky piston da, 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 here, put the block, there can really be any block and then shoot we need to dig this out oh god it is definitely turned into night quick okay uh, I'll dig more of this out and we need repeater on no delay there repeater on one tick delay there oh crap uh, let's see then we need this to come down like that and when we put it put a lever here it should power this piston to push forward. One tick will go through here to this redstone circuit and the circuit just go round and round and round and power those. So I'm going to cover this up so creepers don't blow it up and I will come back uh, in the morning. Alright so welcome back guys. Uh, just to show you that this actually works I will go ahead and construct a lever if I have the resources which I think I do. But, uh, let's see, I think it's a stick, no, mm, yes, there we go, lever. So we're going to need some levers anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and show that it works. Oh my god, it didn't work. What the, oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this works, guys. I put a lever here and a piece of redstone there. Everything else is the same, so when you click this lever, this is what happens. Oh, well, this one's not getting power quite yet, so we'll just put a block of dirt there. And there we go. That gives us some power. Look at that redstone. So the idea is it should push us up that every time once we get the uh, sandstone slabs in. So we'll turn that off and it turns off. So let's go ahead and get rid of this lever for now. And I need to eat something. Come here. All right. I need to eat something. What am I going to eat? How about some mushroom stew? Got any mushroom stew? Nope. Pork chop sounds good enough for me. Yummy, yummy pork chop. Mm -mm good. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. What? What? Seems like a little glitch there. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and bring this circuit out a bit. As we're going to, uh, let's see. We need to split it up, put an inverter on it, and bring it back inside the house. Let's see, we're going to have two separate lines coming down here, so let's convert it here, I guess. And then bring this line, all, uh, probably going to have to have a repeater somewhere along here. 
we'll just go ahead and set the signal for here. So we'll put that, put a block there, and we'll put a redstone torch on top of, or on that, so that we can toggle it on and off. So get rid of that, put that there. Break that for now. And so then we'll have one. We'll have one signal coming in this way, and another signal coming in this way. So we'll have two signals, one from the first floor, one from the second floor. And it'll be it'll be amazing. <laughs>